All right, so if you've ever had a SketchUp model that's performing really slow and you can't figure out why, this tool is going to help you a ton. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you want to download this model and follow along, you can check out the industrial grade house model from Mike Brestel, um, which uh, I really love this model just because of the level of detail that he's put into it. So it's definitely a cool model just if you want to check out a cool model in the 3D warehouse. But a lot of the time what you can run into, especially when you start downloading models from the 3D warehouse, is there's just all this stuff in them and they can be very heavy and you don't always know why and like from a file size standpoint this model isn't especially heavy i think it's like 26 megabytes or something like that um so if we go back and look at it in the 3d warehouse yeah it's a 26 megabyte file but if you look at it um, and you go to like your polygon count. You've got over half a million polygons in here. Um, and so we just want to take a look at this and figure out ways that we can optimize this in order to make this run better, especially if you have an older computer. And so the way that we've done this in the past is we always start by going to our window model info and specifically we go into our statistics and if you double check or you check this box right here you can see the number of component instances that are in here which is a lot the number of groups um, the number of faces and edges right so what it does is it gives you information about what's contained inside of this model and this was always helpful because you could go in and you could kind of analyze what's in the model and figure out what's what's uh, slowing this down but the problem is this tool is not granular, right? So, I mean, you could select individual components. So, or you can do individual components right here and you can kind of see this, but I mean, what is component 30? I have no idea, right? What is component 31? No idea. So um, seeing this with the built-in tool inside of SketchUp is not necessarily ideal for actually fixing these issues. However, there's an extension that you can download from the extension warehouse. So if you go to extension warehouse and you look for CG impact report. So it's from How to SU. Um, it's called CG Impact Report. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to go through and it's going to give you an analysis of those components and groups. Now, it does not analyze the materials, but I'm going to show you a tool for analyzing the materials as well in just a second. Um, and so when you install this, I'm on SketchUp 2026. It told me that it's not compatible with 2026, but when I installed it, it's working fine. So um, I haven't really had any issues with it. Um, and what it does is it basically once you install it gives you the option to run CG impact report. And what this is, is this is a report on the components in your model, right? So it shows you the number of component definitions in your model, and you can also scroll through and see what they are. But what this does is it gives you the ability to select them. So in this situation, for example, I can scroll through, be like, oh, this leaf is really heavy. If we look at total number of objects or number of instances right here, you can see that um, that's probably one of the larger things in the model. I wish it had some better filtering functions. But if I select this, notice how on my screen right here, I can see that, okay, this is coming from these plants right here. So I can see that that 218,000 um, polygons is coming specifically from those plants. So I can select all of them. And one thing you might think about doing is splitting your screen like this. So now you can fly around inside of your SketchUp model like this, and you can actually see what's going on in the screen. And you can also select things using the impact report over here. But I can click in here and I can select and I can see where, and I'm going to deselect this object right here, but I can see where this group is right here in my model. And so this allows me to go through and analyze different parts and pieces of the model so I can find the things that are fairly heavy inside of the model. And then say that I wanted to isolate like all of these plants. Notice how it kind of like stacks them together. So if I click in here and click on select, it's going to select all of these objects and it's kind of iterative. Um, so what it's doing is it's basically giving me the ability to select multiple different objects or types inside of the model. Well, in this case, what I might do is I might take all of these objects, we'll put them on a tag and we'll call it plants. And then we can toggle that off. So now my scene is going to perform a lot better because I was able to isolate that heavy geometry in here. So this just gives you a really good way to kind of like isolate that heavy geometry. Now, one other thing that can negatively affect performance though, um, that this extension isn't going to help with is materials. 
right? Because the higher resolution materials inside of a model um, can really slow your model down. So what we can do is there's another extension from the SketchUp team actually. And so we're just gonna look for material resizer. And so what material resizer does is not only does it resize materials, like it sounds like, so I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Um, it's marked as not compatible, that's fine. Um, it's going to work fine. So, um, but now if I run it, right? If I go to extensions, material resizer, what it's going to do is it's going to go through and it's going to analyze every single material in my model as well, right? And you can see how some of these materials are very heavy. They're very high resolution, right? And so what that means is that means that they're just going to be very large. So like this material 31, for example, and I'm not sure where this is applied, um, but it looks like it's probably applied to a piece of furniture inside of my model. There's no reason for it to be 2200 by 2900, pixels, right? So what you can do is you can select different materials and this is going to reduce the resolution of the materials. That's kind of the point, but we can take all of those, we can reduce them. So we're going to reduce them to 512 pixels right here. So it's going to take those materials and it's going to um, basically resize them inside of your model so that they're lower resolution, so that they're not slowing down your model. So if you combine CG impact report with material resizer, you can basically analyze your model for both heavy geometry and also heavy materials at the same time. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you're using these tools or if there's anything else you use to improve performance in your SketchUp models. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you do need some more help learning how to put your SketchUp models together so they perform faster, make sure you check out the course. I will link to that on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.